Imagine if you're an astronaut, your rocket ship developed difficulties, and you had to abandon it. Oh look, it's Jupiter. Maybe I could land there until I get rescued. Booster boots on. Wait, this doesn't look right. As you approach Jupiter, you'd see a massive, swirling planet. You'd plunge into thick clouds of ammonia crystals, colored yellows, whites, and reds by chemical reactions. The atmosphere is mostly hydrogen and helium, so you wouldn't be able to breathe. Good thing I have this spacesuit. It seems you've been falling for hours, literally hours, because Jupiter's atmosphere is tens of thousands of kilometers deep. The pressure increases fast, temperatures rise. You'd pass through layers of ammonia, ammonium hydrosulfate, and water clouds. You'd start to glow faintly as the air compresses and heats up. At about 10 times Earth's surface pressure, you'd be crushed if you were unprotected. Your spacesuit can't handle this for long. Further down, you'd see gigantic lightning bolts, some over 10 times stronger than Earth's. Winds can reach 600 km. It would be like falling through a never-ending thunderstorm. The hydrogen around you becomes so dense that it turns into metallic hydrogen, a bizarre form of matter that conducts electricity. Deep in a sea of liquid metal, surrounded by crushing pressure millions of times stronger than on Earth. Here, temperatures reach thousands of degrees Celsius. There's no solid ground, no place to land, no surface, no escape. Just layer after layer of storm and fire until you're no longer falling. You've become part of Jupiter.